I'm going to introduce you to a new method of teaching called the Flipped Mastery Classroom. This way of teaching and learning is very different from what you've experienced in the past. So what is it? Well first I'm going to explain the flipped part of a flipped mastery classroom. So this is how it used to run. Your teacher would stand in front of you and lecture, and then you'd do that at school. And then when you'd go home, you'd have to struggle through the homework problems on your own. And if you didn't understand it in class, you'd get confused. So we're flipping it. Now, when you're at home, you're going to watch your teacher's lecture on the computer. Then when you get to school, you get to work on those tricky homework problems with your teacher there to help you. So how about the mastery part of the flipped mastery classroom? Well, mastery means that you have to understand and be able to prove that you understand the different concepts taught before you can move on. So much of our concepts will build upon itself that you really have to understand what you're doing. They're like building blocks. One piece leads to another piece leads to another piece. Another part of the flipped mastery classroom is being able to work at your own pace to some extent. So if you understand something, awesome, prove it to me, move on. If you're stuck and need an extra day, no big deal. You've got some extra time built in. So you're going to need to pace yourself and know about how much you need to do every day to finish the week's worth of objectives. So what's this going to look like? Well, I'm going to assign you a certain number of learning objectives a week, probably two or three. And each objective will have a corresponding video of me teaching it. During that video, you're going to be asked to complete something called a WISC, W-S-Q. Now, I'll explain a lot more about that later, but in brief, W-S-Q stands for Watch, Summarize, Question. And in your math journal, you're going to write notes while you watch, summarize what you've seen, and ask a question when you're done. Then when you get to class, you'll meet with groups of two or three other students who've also watched the same video as you and you'll have a discussion over your WISC. Now in order to prove that you know what you're doing, you're going to have to prove it through some quizzes. Now the quizzes sometimes can make you feel like this. Hopefully with the mastery model it's not going to be that frustrating. All your quizzes are going to be taken on the computer. At the beginning of each unit we're going to have a big project. Something that hopefully will spark your interest in what we're going to learn. I don't expect to be able to complete the whole project at the beginning of the unit, but by the end, with a little bit of teamwork, hopefully you'll be able to complete everything. Speaking of teamwork, you are going to have to use a lot of cooperation because much of your work is going to be done in teams. So it's going to be very important that you can cooperate and communicate well with others. The last thing, responsibility. You are going to have to be responsible for pacing yourself. I'll give you some parameters as to how much you need to finish in a week, but I'm not going to hunt you down. This is going to be something you have to do on your own. Responsibility is a huge life skill that you're going to need to learn, and I expect that you're going to do that this year. And that's all there is to it.